Resolution Copper will utilize a well-established mining technique called caving to safely and efficiently extract copper from a deposit that lies approximately 7,000 feet beneath the ground. The deposit and related surface mining infrastructure are located within the Copper Triangle, east of Superior, in the historic Pioneer Mining District in the area of the former Magma Copper Mine. The mining operations will take place over approximately 40 years in an area called the East Plant Site and will remove copper ore from a deep-seated copper deposit beneath the ground surface. The copper ore will be processed underground and transported to the West Plant Site through a series of subsurface conveyors, thus eliminating associated dust emissions. As the copper ore is extracted from the base of the deposit, the surface above will begin to progressively expand outward. This effect is known as subsidence, and it is a slow and gradual process that will occur over the life of the mine. The first signs of subsidence will occur after a few years of mining. This initial manifestation is termed the cave breakthrough. Subsidence is expected to continue following the cessation of active mining after closure. The settlement effects of subsidence are characterized by three deformation zones. The caved rock zone has large impacts on the ground surface. The vegetation in this area will be significantly affected, yet may regrow once mining activity has ceased. The fractured zone has small yet visible surface impacts. The area adjacent to the caved rock zone will crack and displace along inclined faces that may topple and form new ridges. This process progressively decreases in severity away from the caved zone towards the outer edges of the fracture zone. The vegetation will be affected and may regrow in areas over time. The continuous subsidence zone has no visual surface impacts. Small strains can only be detected by ultra-sensitive equipment and could be described as similar to that of natural freeze-thaw effects on the ground. The vegetation would largely remain unaffected. From an elevated view, the visualization represents how subsidence is projected over a 40-year mine life. It also represents the major increments following breakthrough as reflected in industry standard engineered numerical modeling using geological data that has been acquired over the past 15 years. The modeling results replicate the maximum reasonable scenario based on the current mine plan of operations. As we transition to ground locations, we can see what the maximum scenario will look like from accessible locations. Geological features in and around the proposed mining operations will be monitored and appropriately managed. The current mine plan has been designed to protect these features during operations and after mining has ceased. These features include Apache Leap, Queen Creek Canyon, Devil's Canyon, and U.S. Highway 60. The planning and placement of the East Plant Site ensures that the critical mining assets are located between Apache Leap and the subsidence zone. The staged and progressive approach of the ore extraction will commence from a distant point far away from Apache Leap. Important features will be continuously monitored, allowing for ongoing management of mining operations. This will be a requirement of the final approved mine plan of operations and it is also a requirement of the land exchange legislation. Resolution Copper will utilize various monitoring techniques that will ensure the continual assessment of subsidence so that timely adjustments can be made to the mine plan if necessary. These state-of-the-art techniques include displacement monitoring, seismic monitoring, aerial and satellite surveys to monitor the subsidence and to manage the mining operations. Each technique provides critical information on surface impacts and stability on the order of millimeters.
It's important to note that an approved mine plan must be obtained before operations begin. Before the Forest Service can make a decision on a final mine plan of operations, resolution must comply with the National Environmental Policy Act, which requires that an environmental impact statement be completed. Subsidence impacts will be assessed and disclosed in the environmental impact statement, which will be available for public comment.